Hello. Welcome to this video, in which we will look at how to manage a quality processes within manufacturing in an orderly fashion, to maintain control throughout the production process. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. We will start examining the benefits to be achieved, by controlling the quality management process in manufacturing. Ensure that quality requirements are met, with quality results recorded during the manufacturing process. Achieve a complete record of documentation of the manufacturing process, in one system. Improve follow-on logistics processes, such as picking and return scenarios, with complete quality information on a batch level. Before we head on to the system demo, let's look at some keywords. An inspection lot can be automatically created by logistics movements. It contains the information needed to decide on the usability, the recorded results from the quality inspection, of the materials which are inspected. The inspection characteristic is what is being inspected. This can be set up depending on needs, and be diverse with some examples being color, surface smoothness and length. In this demonstration we will see the following happen. We will start by creating a production order. The inspection lot will be automatically created. We will record the results for the surface inspection. As well as the measurement of the length. And finally, we will make the usage decision and post the stock movement. Now, let us look at the system demo. In our scenario we have two roles, the production planner, and the quality technician. We begin our journey by monitoring our stock coverage of a specific material, SG29. The production planner selects the SG29, and chooses to manage materials. In the stock requirements list we see a planned order, which we choose to convert into a production order. We set the manufacturing date we want, and then the production order is saved. Our next step, which we need to conduct, is to release the production order for manufacturing. We locate our production order, which we converted from a planned order in the previous step. We then release the order, so manufacturing can start, or the order can be released to manufacturing execution system, such as SAP Manufacturing Cloud. As the manufacturing operation is complete, we now confirm the production order. We enter the production order number, the operation we have completed. We also enter the start and end time of the operation. Keep in mind, that this information can be feed from a manufacturing execution solution, such as SAP ME or SAP Manufacturing Cloud. Finally the production operator adds the quantity which is received, and posts the confirmation. It is now the turn of the quality technician, to review the inspection plan connected to the production step we just completed. Entering material number and plant. We will see which inspections characteristics we will measure. For this inspection, we will look at the surface of the material as well as its length. Once the manufacturing has been completed, we make the goods receipt, by using the goods receipt from production tile. We select our production order number. The quantity produced in being confirmed, something which can be done in a manufacturing execution system as well. We make the posting, and then we receive the feedback from the system, that a material document has been created. Now the quality technician takes over the process, and goes to her overview page. As the quality technician selects the material, we see the information on the overview screen automatically update, to show only SG29 relevant data. We now select the automatically created inspection lot, to record the inspection results, the result of the visual surface control is entered first, with a passing score. Next, we enter the result from the measurement of the length. Once both characteristics results from the inspection has been entered, we save them. Our quality technician will now make a decision on the usability, of the manufactured components. Our inspection lot is now ready for its usage decision. So we select our inspection lot. We can now complete our usage decision. As the measurements recorded were within tolerance, we select A1, which means that the stock can be used without restrictions. We save the decision. In our final step, which can be automated, we move our stock from in-quality inspection to unrestricted use stock. The system proposes the stock posting, based on the usage decision made previously. When saving the process is complete, the functionality shown in this video, regarding quality management in manufacturing, is available in S4 HANA, both cloud and on-premise versions. The same functionality is available also in ECC, although screen layout may differ. 
Let us complete this video by repeating the benefits of using quality management in the manufacturing process. Ensure that quality requirements are met with quality results recorded during the manufacturing process. Achieve a complete record of documentation of the manufacturing process in one system. Improve follow-on logistics processes, such as picking and return scenarios, with complete quality information on a batch level. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.